Okay, so you drilled a hole, you have a bushing, but you don't have an arbor press or a hydraulic press to actually fit it in. So the cheap and easy way is going to be to get a shoulder bolt, a hex nut, and a couple of washers. Alright, so now once you've got your part held in place, you're going to take your shoulder bolt and throw a washer on it small enough to fit the head of the bolt. Next, you're going to take a larger washer and step it up. This will help keep your smaller washer from bending and spread the force being applied on your part over a larger area. Now we're going to feed our bolt through the hole and put our bushing on top. Ideally, you want the shoulder or the non-threaded part of the bolt to cover the length of the bushing so if the bolt goes off center, the threads don't scratch the inner diameter of the bushing. The final part of the assembly is to throw on our last washer just to cover as much of the bushing face as we can. Throw on our hex nut and tighten it up. Next, attach one wrench to the head of the bolt and another to the nut on the other end. Make sure to go slow and steady, it's not a race. Try to keep an eye on the bushing and make sure it's going in straight. Chamfering the hole in the bushing beforehand will definitely help with this. Okay, your bushing's officially been pressed in. Now all you gotta do is break the seal on the nut and back it out. Now if you're having trouble fitting your piece in the vise, or if you're worried about the face getting deformed in the jaws, one thing you can do is build a jig that does the exact same thing. This is also going to be really helpful if you have like a hundred bushings to press in. It all goes together the exact same way. The only thing you have to consider is if the time to make the jig is warranted by the time you save pressing in all the bushings you have to do. Now sometimes you press in a bushing and it gets compressed a little more than you expected it to and then your shaft doesn't fit. So to fix that, all you have to do is make a lapping tool. Now you can buy a proper lapping tool, but what I did is just grab a wooden dowel and cut a groove in the top, and then you fold a piece of sandpaper on the edge, stick it in that groove, and wrap it around, put that in a power drill, and basically just go to town. Make sure to keep the drill as straight as you can, and the natural motion of the lapping tool should keep it pretty concentric considering you're only taking off a thou or half a thou. I started lapping with 400 grit sandpaper and then I went up to 800, 1200 and then 2000 grit. The higher the grit sandpaper the better the finish you're going to get. Ideally you would be done after machining but if your bushing got compressed slightly more than you expected then you're going to have to take that extra half thou out using a honing tool or a lapping tool or whatever you have available to you.